we have Duran Shokut Martinez fighting out of Gila River Indian community. I've seen this guy fight. He's a heavy hitter. Dan Huber is a great coach. Darren Martinez is in good hands. We're going to see a very top game grappling style, penetration style. Let's see what, you've seen his striking? I've seen it, yeah. Oh, God. What can you tell us about his striking? I mean, like I said, he's a heavy hitter, you know. Um, can he take hits, too? What's that? He's going to take oh, hits, yeah. too? Oh, yeah. He, wow. can, he can take punches all day. Oh, wow. Now, one of the keys. For uh, for Duran is and ladies and gentlemen joining us tonight from San Diego, California, here is Ryan Oso Taylor. Once again, your referee in charge, Brad Frank, to give the final instructions. Well, both of these guys are making their their uh, debut. Duran Martinez. Fighting out of uh, Spartan. No pressure. The Chief is in, in the house, but no pressure, right? Man, I really, um, uh, Dan Huber's got some great grappling. I always rely on jiu-jitsu, but they're both MMA cage fighter styles, and we're going to see a, a scrap, and then the technique might start flowing in the second round. Now, this might be a quick fight. These are, these are big boys. Yeah, they're heavy 500 they're pounds of man. Let's go. Now here we see uh, nice switch Duran, Duran being a little bit more active. Now you're First looking round. for that. You're looking for that big punch. I like how he moves. Nice he comes yeah, for the first one. Martinez. The first punch. They're filling each other out. They're still trying to find their their you range. Think he should commit to those punches, or he's okay to kind of. Oh, oh wow! A low leg kick. It drops. Again, I rely on power the power on those on those leg kicks. I rely on the grappling. One, one, 500 pounds, 250 on top. That's tough. You know that was weigh-ins too. Now he's uh, one thing that I was uh, knee I was on sold, belly. I was sold, yeah, knee on belly, right? Well, especially I, with that, brutal. especially with that that weight, you want to. You're basically, down. you know, they, they score three points in IBJJF rules because it's a dominant position for striking. Right. Side control is a second. It's, you know, it's good, two good points. It's, it's pound very by valuable. Martinez. Now he's controlling. He's he's. He's uh, controlling. Yeah, he can get darts the from there. Choke, oh, he's got a guillotine. Guillotine. Head and oh, arm wow. Because of the weight leverages. I think he's, he's in. a heavier opponent. He might flip him backwards for the show. Let's. Oh, he switched to just the head. head oh, just that's the head. And he's twerking. Ah, and he taps. Jerome Martinez has the victory. When you have an arm, head and arm, and you switch it to just the head, and you're twisting, you can fall back and use your legs to also add to the torque. But they have weight leverages. When they're tinier, they can use the fence for that extra leverage. When they're big like that, their own weights become a factor. And, and it's, it's all that pressure right on the neck. I when started doing that, and he's twisting. I started jujitsu at 260. It, it's a different thing as you lose weight. Now let's start. Let's let's go with that that kick that started all. Beautiful that kick. Was a, that was a beautiful kick, and then he goes down, knocks Taylor he off his feet. He timed it perfectly. He was scaling him out. Elbow up against the body. It's perfect. I prefer knee on belly, but he is right there writing his own story where he wanted to be, and it worked. And that's how we've seen this, this whole night. Fighters being content with being on side guard or in the guard. Right. The other gentleman did a really control, good I mean, job framing and creating more time so we can come up. Like, but 250 is a lot. And here's the finish. He switches the over. Finish. And there's the crank. And now he's turning sideways. And that's the tap. And see, I was just thinking that, that it's just a matter of time before he uh, before he taps. Because yeah. I, I saw that one that was really deep in there. Well, imagine the amount of torque this big man could produce. 242 pounds.